Hey folks, it's time for another strip search. And as you can see by the lug behind me, this is going to be big in more ways than one. That's right, this strip will be the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Collector's Edition. And believe me, this thing is huge. I mean, seriously, it comes with its own handle. I mean, I've seen suitcases that were smaller. How big is it? Well, let me put this into context for you. Metroid Prime Trilogy Collector's Edition. Record of Agarist War Zero Limited Edition. Deus Ex Human Revolution, Augmented Edition. Gears of War 3, Limited Edition. Fable 3, Limited Edition. Catherine Love is Over Deluxe Edition. <sighs> Batman Arkham City Collector's Edition with the Batman statue, I might add. So yeah, obviously this thing is big. So, is what's inside here the uh, worth the $150 price tag? Well, let's find out. The, uh, the tape that was holding the sleeve thing on uh, came undone before uh, 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 it was on them when I got, when I got it, so, you're, so you didn't miss anything. Okay, uh, right, okay, apparently I'm going to have to figure out a different way to open this. Okay, here we go. So, what do we have in here? Oh, ah, a coffee table size book. And what's inside is, oh, it's an art book. Pretty nice pictures, huh? So that will be uh, fun to look at. Ah. And here we have the game itself. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. And apparently it's wrapped. Don't know why. Hold on a second. Uh, hold on, let me get something here. Boom.
I like how they have this, uh, they give it a worn look to it. Okay, got the wrapping off and uh, it's a sleeve. And let's see here. We got a little uh, card in here for Prey 2. And uh, on the back is Dishonored, which I guess is another of Bethesda's work. Okay. Uh, here we have the game manual. And here we have a map of the Skyrim area. Now, this was in, now a map was included in the uh, uh, Oblivion uh, special edition. And I don't know about Morrowind, but apparently you definitely need maps here. Uh, okay, apparently this is upside down. As you can see, it took a while to get it unfolded, but yep. And uh, it feels interesting. Uh, it's not quite cloth, but it does have that uh, feel that it could be a real ancient medieval type map. Um, oh, let's see here. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that's as good as any. So uh, here we have the game itself. I'll just uh, turn. Whoops! <laughs> Drop the map. Uh, here, and I think this is the making of DVD they were talking about. Uh, just pick this up here. So, yeah, I can't wait to get into that. Come on, get in there. There we go. All righty, now, but wait, there's more. Yeah. Um, let's put this down here. Keep it safe, Batman. Hey, I told you to keep it safe. Okay. Apparently, this is much easier to do if you have another person on hand. Uh. Oh! I bet you guys like seeing me uh, get hit with boxes and stuff like that. taking up the majority of the box. And let's see here. Oh, apparently there are these little pieces of tape. Uh, where are those scissors that I was using? Uh, oh, duh.
Folks, if you're ever encountered a situation like this, I would recommend that you use scissors to cut it rather than attempting to peel it off yourself. That way, uh, you won't be, that way in case you want to, you uh, can uh, keep the box in relatively good shape. Let's see here. There we go. Uh, let's see. Apparently, and uh, apparently it's a statue. Uh, and this, I guess, there are directions about where to put it. Uh, let's see here. Remove this foam top. Great. Here you go. Apparently his name is Al, I think it's Alduin, the world eater. So yeah, it's pretty scary looking, isn't he? Roar. Uh, oh, sorry for the squeaky chair. Uh, I'll just uh, set this down here. And wow. Apparently, this statue was made by IP Factory, which I have a few of their statues, and they, they get, they're of pretty good quality. And let's see, here we have the base. And uh, let's see here. Um, apparently, the directions are to be believed. Uh, the claws go on, uh, okay, uh, which I, well, I guess that's close enough. I'm going to have to, uh, adjust this thing, uh, accordingly later. So, there you have it. Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Uh, what do I think? Well, I feel like it's a little bit... Ex What's the word I'm looking for? Exclusive? No. A little bit... Excessive, that's it. Uh, it's a little bit excessive uh, for a limited edition, I mean... Statues? What? I mean, true, they look cool, but I mean, what else can you do with them except put them back up and, uh, okay, and, uh, um, my, my guess is, my opinion is that unless you are a diehard Elder Scrolls fan like I am, I have Morrowind and Oblivion. Two versions, I might add. Uh, pick up the normal version. Uh, the cloth map is included with uh, both the regular version and the collector's edition. So, uh, yeah, that might be the more efficiently priced uh, one to go through. Um, if... So that's about it. I can't wait to start playing Skyrim. I I hope it's as every bit as good as Oblivion. So until then, from me, from Alduin, we'll see you on the next strip search.